All right, we're going to go alphabetical by company name. And the first one up is to you. Now, to you, the ticker symbol is T W O U. Arguably, because this company name literally starts with the number two, and the full name of the company is just the number two in the letter U, you could argue this is not a T stock. But it is a T stock. It is to U. So let's briefly review where it's been. This stock made a high of $90 a share on September 4th. Today, it's around 53 as we tape this podcast on the afternoon of Tuesday, November 13th. 90 to 53 in a couple of months. Yep, that's down 41%. In fact, of all five of my near term losers here that we're going over this week, this has been the worst, down more than 40%. Now, why has it been a big time winner? Well, I first picked it two years ago in July of 2016. It's up about 50, over 50% since then. And then three months later, I decided. I really like this company. I like to add to my winners, so I recommend it again for Rule Breakers. That one's also up over 50%. So I'll take that two year return for any company almost any day of the week. So it's a double wreck and a double winner. So for each of these, I think maybe I'll just mention two things that I like about the stock and that I think about when I think about the company. The first thing I want to mention about 2U is. So this company is a big idea, built on a big idea that it could bring distance learning into some of our best universities. Most often at the graduate level, but yes, undergraduate courses too. So, two you partners, usually with 10 year agreements with some of the better known universities in the world, universities like UCAL Berkeley or Georgetown University here in Washington, D.C., or my alma mater, the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, the business school. So, these are the kinds of companies that two you partners with, and they're bringing students that these universities would never otherwise have had. Through the internet, they're bringing in distance learning and they're splitting the tuition that these universities are getting paid that they would never have had otherwise. So it's a true win, win, win. There's at least three winners in there. A fourth one has been shareholders because people who have owned to you are pretty happy with their shares. And so, as I say, thing I like number one is it's a big idea, but the market cap is only $3 billion. I mean, this is a company that has excellent existing relationships, continues to add more. Learning to its platform, and yet it's capitalized at just $3 billion. So that feels like a small cap company with at least a mid cap idea and execution. So that's thing number one I like about it. And then thing number two is 2U has been the victim of a short attack this year. So there, you may know about short attacks if you're a rule breaker investor of any real vintage, you probably have come across this before, somebody will decide that this stock is overpriced or something's horribly wrong with the company. And often, this person will put a 20-page screed on the internet about all the things, all the dirty linen and dirty dishes that the company that's being short attacked ever could have been connected to, and will say the stock's overpriced. And these days, because there's a lot of viral passing around on the internet. People will hear about it, and often these stocks will decline. It's usually pretty short term. They're called short attacks because you can see it coming. Once it starts, you can kind of see it playing out in the weeks ahead. Usually these stocks drop, but then because we just keep holding our companies, if the company is doing a good thing in the world and doing well, in my experience, it comes back. And so the short attack creates temporary downdrafts in some really excellent companies. And so, other examples from our Rule Breakers service in recent years Shopify was absolutely short attacked for a while there. Ubiquity Networks, another excellent company. Um, I think Take Two Interactive got nailed at one point. Definitely Green Mountain when it was Keurig, and it used to be a Rule Breaker. It, it had a short attack too. Tesla has been short attacked a number of times. So, this is kind of pattern recognition that we've gotten used to at Motley Fool Rule Breakers. So, when I see it happen to a good company, when I think, well, that's too bad for the near term share price. Uh, but it does create an excellent discount for the rest of us who are going to be around for the long term and believe in the company. So, that's thing number two I like about to you. And that's stock number one.